Right now, the controversy will not die down after National Public Radio fired Juan Williams for comments that he made on the O'Reilly factor. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee. Welcome to the second hour of Happening Now. And I'm John Scott. Here's what Williams said Monday night on the factor in regard to Muslims. Take a listen. Look, Bill, I'm not a bigot. You know the kind of books I've written about the civil rights movement in this country. But when I get on a plane, I got to tell you, if I see people who are in Muslim garb, and I think, you know, they're identifying themselves first and foremost as Muslims, I get worried. I get nervous. Joining us on the phone, Bill O'Reilly. He is the anchor of the O'Reilly Factor. You heard him say it live on your, pro or on your program, Bill. Uh, did you think it was a fireable offense? No, it's ridiculous. Um, as Woody Allen said, this is a travesty of a mockery of a sham. But it's not uh, out of character for NPR. They've been trying to get rid of Juan for a while. Um, because Juan is associated with the Fox News Channel, and NPR is a, it's not a news organization, all right? It, it's basically a left-wing uh, outfit that wants one, one opinion. If you listen to NPR across the country, the national zone out of Washington, all right, their feeds the locals, it's almost 100% liberal. Juan's a liberal. Juan's a liberal. And once you get away from that orthodoxy, the National Public Radio is wanting part of you. Now, if they were a uh, free enterprise, then they would have the right to that. But they're not. They take taxpayer money. And I'm calling immediately, and we're going to make a big deal out of this tonight on The Factor, for an immediate suspension of every taxpayer dollar going into the National Public Radio outfit. Yeah, I know and you're going to. We're going to get, get, get legislation. We're going to freeze it down. No, they don't get any more money. This is outrageous. And I know that you're going to have Juan on again tonight. Also, uh, the, the conservative former Speaker of the House is saying that there ought to be a congressional investigation. Take a listen to what he told us uh, just about 30 minutes ago. I think it is an act of total censorship. I think that the U.S. Congress should investigate NPR and I should consider cutting off their money. Uh, I think the whole idea that if you honestly say how you feel about Islam and about uh, what he said was very balanced. People should read what he actually said. The idea that that's the excuse for National Public Radio to censor Juan Williams, I think is an outrage, and every listener to NPR should be enraged that this, there's this kind of bias against an American. I imagine uh, you concur in that, huh, Bill? Well, I wouldn't mean, take it further than that. I want it suspended today while the investigation takes place. Even Whoopi Goldberg on The View this morning said it was an outrage. I mean, what Ron Williams said was his opinion, his honest feeling when he walks on a plane. And believe me, tens of millions of Americans feel exactly the same way. Yeah, and it occurs to me that that's exactly what the terrorists wanted to do on 9-11. They wanted to scare us. And in fact, in some ways, they have achieved their aim with one and tens of millions of other people. It's a natural reaction, isn't it? Well, terrorists want to create terror. Well, what does NPR want to create? They're intimidating, too. NPR sent in a message to any liberal, if you don't tell the liberal lie and you go on the Fox News channel, we're going to take sanctions against you. I mean, this organization is so outrageous now. They're not going to recover from this. They're not, they're, this it's over for NPR, so that's a good thing. And again, I, I, don't, have, I don't object to NPR being NPR, far-left crew. I don't object to that. But if you're going to do that, do it in the private marketplace. Compete. Don't take my money and throw out propaganda and violations of the First Amendment. Don't do that in my name. And I'll make a prediction. If NPR were to go into the private arena, they will go exactly the way our America went. Bankrupt. Okay? They couldn't compete. Because you just get one line. It's boring. It's dishonest. And you know what? Finally... Juan Williams better off out of there. And Here. I'm going to tell him that tonight. He's better off out of there it's than being in that snake pit. It's funny that you bring that up. We have a, a viewer question. Huskers Bob, I'm guessing he's a Nebraska fan. Uh, but Huskers Bob wants to know, Bill O'Reilly, if you were in Juan's shoes now and were released by Fox, what would you do? Well, I mean, Megan Kelly's coming on the factor tonight, and she believes that Juan is a lawsuit against NPR. Hmm. And she's an attorney. First Amendment. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, um, I would say what was on my mind. I mean, I don't know what Juan's going to say tonight. Number three, 
Warren's going to get a big book contract out of this, and so he's not going to get hurt economically because he'll be able to write a book about this, and people would read that book. So he's okay there, I think. And number four, Fox News is going to stand by Juan. Obviously, Juan's been very, very good to us. And again, he's a liberal guy. Yeah. So, I mean, this is just such an appalling situation. And again, I think both conservatives and liberals know this is wrong. He is a great guy as well. One of the, one of the real gentlemen around here. We appreciate it. Bill O'Reilly, looking forward to seeing you on The Factor tonight with Juan. Bill will have that one-on-one -on -one interview with Juan Williams. Keep to get the scoop tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here on Fox News Channel.